so we've completed the top next plan wings off the jig you need this piece and it's exactly the same as the top we're going to drop that in there like so and then cut that section as we did so it's virtually identical to what you did on the top surface and then infill this place as well and then the center section with your other sheet that you've got here this is going to need cutting down the middle because obviously you've got to accommodate for the fact that you've got the dihedral to accommodate in there so that one is going to get split cut to length and dropped in in exactly the same place um, there's no point in me showing you those because it's virtually the reverse of what we've just done and I should say also don't forget your three cap strips as well okay so I have uh, done all the sheeting top and bottom uh, I'm just going to gently stick that back in and on the jig now what you need is you need this little template here and the idea is with your scrap you got from your sheeting we're going to cut out four of these and the idea is that we are going to stick them like so now the bottom one is just two sheets and then stuck up like so and then what we're going to do is we then have to add some little strengthening templates into here and when I get to there I'll show you but that's the next step okay I have um, stuck the bottom of the Horton tail on now the next bit is you're going to need six of these now I've cut these from scrap and uh, the idea is is that they're going to slide in here to provide some support for the top bit of the tail now top tip um, got a bit of the old scrap made myself a tool so the idea is I am just going to fit these on here like so and then I can slide them in there and then with a little bit of a twist in action like so I can then glue them in place be very careful with the gluing because you don't want any glue just on this edge because it's going to stop the um, bolster sitting down squarely so the next step is these six I think they're known in the carpentry trade as biscuit joints I might be wrong but anyway that's the next step is I'm going to pop six of these in and then we go on to the top sheet okay that's the uh, little fillers added or biscuit joints don't go too far with this because you don't want to come out too far because it's going to stop the ends joining together and the next bit is a bit of wood glue on here and I'm just going to finish those off and that is your Horton tail so I finished the what's known as the Horton tail now we're now going on to doing the elevons so we're going to need these sheets uh, for the next part of the build So we're going to need to uh, cut these out first, sanded. Remember, it's prandial, so it's supposed to have a curve, <laughs> nothing straight. So first thing you need to do is clean up this bottom sheet. You need the bottom sheet, not the sheet with the hole in. The other tip to remember is, is that just to remember, if this one goes that side, the next one's got to go that side you've got to make a left and a right very easy to accidentally make two of the same size okay so to do the elevons to do them properly now don't be fooled this is a reverse slope so in other words you would naturally think it's going to go like so in fact the bottom has got to go to this curve underneath like so because it's going to fit on your like that to match up the spar so in other words this gets glued to the bottom like so now a um, couple of little tips here obviously put the wing back on the jig let me just show you what I've done here I've obviously clamped this to the end like so like that now 
what I have done, I've introduced just a little shim just here so that stops the, um, basically just stops it falling on the, in through the jig so I'm going to pop that on there like so like that Drop that on there, like so. Bearing in mind, there we go. And with that in place. There you go. Just making sure that this is flush. That's flush. I think that'll work. It's got two chances. Right, okay. So I've got that jigged in place. Now I'm just going to add my four ribs. Okay, so I have... Um, let me just quickly show you what I've done again here with this little splint I've got. That's a little tag I've got, that just stops it, I've just literally taped that in place, it just stops it dropping down. That pops on there like so, I've put a bit of tape on here, just to protect the spar, because we're going to be doing some gluing now. So, next step is, you're going to need one of these. Now, I'll tell you what I did do, apparently Sino doesn't stick to these very well. And I also found that I actually gave mine a little bit of rub on the, a little bit of emery board there because it makes it easier to pop through here. Now, another tip, with the push rod wire you've got, just run that through so it is actually working, because it's going to be a lot, lot easier than trying to drill a hole through this later. So, that's the orientation. The horn pushes up like so, and then slots forward like that. Now, I'm now going to use a contact adhesive, my gor wood gorilla glue. I'm going to glue that in place. Then, when I'm happy, I'm then going to clamp or well, glue that to this, like so. That will give me all the angles, and then I'm going to leave it to dry thoroughly. That's the ele elevon basically done. We've got one other thing just to finish it off. Right, okay, so I have made sure that I've taped this just with a bit of masking tape. That's the top sheet down. Um, pin the top sheet in place. I've, I've not tried to use clamps, and I'll tell you why. Even with pegs, it provides a little bit of weight, and it's easy to get distorted. So that I'm now going to leave um, to cure. Right, so the uh, Elevon is finished. That's the sort of shape that you're looking for. Um, now, the next thing to do is to get one of the balsa um, leading edges. It's like a false leading edge. Um, that's going to fit on there like so. And you'll notice there is a specific curve to follow the reverse curve that we've got on the other one. That's going to glue on there like so. When that's then glued on, that's then ready to go like so. Then the next thing is, you've got four of these. There are two spare ones. Don't worry about that. They're just extra in the kit. Uh, these are glued together by whatever preferred method. That's then glued onto there. These are glued together. And that gets glued onto there like so. And then these are just sanded and finished.